sorry about that. Uh, I had a lot of, um, I had to delete some stuff because my phone had a lot of storage. So anyway, um, so yeah, a lot of people don't know how to prepare fruits and vegetables or to prepare vegetables. So when I say, you know, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat anything that swims or flies, and you know, at least leave the pork and beef alone, you know, a lot of times people will get upset about that because they don't want to do that. Um, so, um, you know, they're kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do? Um, and I guess it's kind of challenging to explain if you don't know how to make, and if a person doesn't know how to make vegetables at all, um, typically people either saute they, their vegetables or boil them or even fry them. Um, I don't recommend frying. I recommend anything baked or broiled. Um, and then, like I said, you know, load up on your fresh fruits and vegetables, um, mainly staying away from carbs as much as possible, which I know is another challenging thing because everybody likes bread, pasta, rice, and all of those things. And all of those things taste really good, and I really do understand that. Um, but they they aren't necessarily good for you because your body doesn't digest them well, and that is part of the issue. Um, it's not that you can't have foods that you enjoy, um, but if they're detrimental to your health and they're causing diabetes, high blood pressure, um, and all sorts of other health conditions, then maybe um, at least take it into consideration. Um, I tell people to at least try it for 30 days. If someone actually does it for 30 days and remains faithful to it, they actually come back and re 